The music we're about to hear is not technically a symphonic poem, although it is most certainly a landscape painting. The news of that horrendous pipeline rupture that turned the Moscow River into Cuyahoga Cubed got me thinking I might as well treat this beautiful little operatic prelude in this series. We can enjoy in our imagination the Moskva River that Mussorgsky knew in the late 19th century before it was turned into a bomb. This music, the prelude to Act I of Mussorgsky's unfinished opera Kovanchina, is often played as a concert piece and usually appears in the program as Dawn on the Moskva River. Since Mussorgsky's death in 1881, a number of eminent composers have taken it in hand to bring the opera to a serviceable condition, which includes orchestrating it. These have included Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, Dmitry Shostakovich, Igor Stravinsky, and Maurice Ravel. It is the Rimsky-Korsakov version that you will hear in this recording, and for which I have furnished the score. Rimsky's orchestration calls for modest forces, pairs of flutes, oboes, clarinets, and bassoons, four horns, timpani, tam-tam, harp, and the usual strings. I am grateful to YouTuber The Classic Music for uploading this beautiful recording. It's by the Vienna Symphony Orchestra under the baton of Eduard von Lindenberg. I'll put a link to The Classic Music's upload in the info bar below. I think you might enjoy seeing some of the graphics. And speaking of graphics, here's one to conjure with. Thank you. 